Hello everyone, welcome back to the Angular Live project. In this video, we will discuss about how we can log in using the API which we created using the Visual Studio and we created that API in ASP.NET Core. So in this video, using the like UI which we designed in Angular 8 and that is the UI look like this and through that we will see like it is working properly or not and how we can implement that using the angular 8 and we will access the dotnet core api so let's go to the visual studio code and in this like this function we created for register uh, the student information using the api so let's create the login uh, function here in the service first like this is the service user dot service which we created so here i'm going to create the login function and in this login function what we will pass we will pass some data so i'm going to write as a form data and inside this one like this is also a uh, like a um, as a post method so for that one what we will do i'm going to copy this one like this one and i'm going to pass this form data here and now what we have to do we have to change this application user with the login so that i'm going to pass and we can verify this like what we have given inside the postman while testing our login api and we can see application user then login so similar to that i have given here and this information what we have to do we have to return from here so that is regarding this login function now next what we have to do like when we log into this ui when we log into this ui like uh, it should redirect to the one component and that component name we will give as a home page and at that home page what we have to do we have to fetch all the student information and regarding that one what we have done we created this uh, uh, class that is student basic info and what we will do we will try to access this student uh, get student details and for that what we have to do let's go to the visual studio code and here i'm going to create one method and that method i'm writing get student info and inside this one i'm going to return let's copy this one i'm going to copy this and here this method will be a get method so i'm going to write it a get me get method and here application use like it will not get anything like as a post method we have to pass something but for the get method there is nothing and this method will be let we can check from here and that is api student basic info so this is the uh, uri we have to give there so let's copy this one and go to the visual studio code and in instead of this one we have to give this and remove this one so th that is the uri for this one now next what we have to do like uh, when we, uh, we we will create one component like when we log into this uh, here when we will click on this login button it should redirect to the another component or the home page so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one uh, like a component here so for that one let's create that component here so let's create that component so i'm going i'll close this terminal i'll create new terminal and here i will create a one component and the for creating a uh, component in inside the angular 8 what command we have we have ngc if we don't want any like uh, css in the testing file then what we can do we can write skip test equal to true and s and we have to give the component name so i'm i'm going to give the component name as a home and when i will give this uh, uh, component name as a home what it will do under this app folder it will create a one component for us and in that component what we will do we will call the api method like that is get student info and th th uh, through that one what we will do we will design a, a small ui inside this home page and once user will log in to the application uh, like uh, it will redirect to this home page so it created a one home component here so let's now before that let's go to the login page and in this login.ts file we have one method called on submit and in this method what we will do we will write the logic on button click so write that logic here so first of all um, what we will do uh, we will we have to call the service so for that one i am going to take even private variable here so private and that variable as a service and what i'm going to take i'm going to take the user service which we have created and next like for navigating to the next page what we have to take 
we have to take a one variable of router here so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a one variable of the router for navigating to another page so these two variables we have taken here now what we have to do like when we click on this login page it check for the token and like uh, it generate the token so based on that token what we will do we will redirect to the page so what condition i'm going to check i'm going to use the local storage and what is the local storage is similar to the cookie and it store the token value so what i'm going to take i'm going to take a one variable called local storage and what i'm going to do get items and i will give that item name as a token so let's take token and what i'm going to check here i'm going to check if it is not equal to none so token if it is not null means we have logged in then this dot router should navigate navigate by url and where it should navigate it should navigate to the home page so that we will do and this home page what we have to do we have to define inside the route like in this router module and here we have to define this home page so let's uh, define that component here and so for that one let's put the comma and inside this one what i'm going to do i'm going to give the path and that path name we have to give as a home and after that what we have to take we have to take the component so that component will be the home component which we have created now so that we have defined here let's close this and here what we are doing we are navigating to the home page now after navigating to the home page what we have to do here we have to write the logic on button click so let's write this dot service dot login so that method we have defined there and inside this one what i'm going to write i'm going to write uh, i'm going to take one variable of form dot value and inside and uh, this one now next what we have to do like so basically like this is the uh, module which we have defined here so basically like this value will be like what we are passing on the submit so we have taken a variable of the ng so here it will become as a ng and after this one what we have to do like this value will come and after that what we will do we will subscribe it and after that uh, here we will take a one variable so i am going to take a as a student register and i will take as a type of any and inside this one using the lambda expression what i am going to check first of all like we have to set the local storage value and we have to set this item and what variable we have taken here this token so inside like in the same we have to uh, like uh, take this token value and this token value will be like whatever is uh, coming from like after we log in so let's uh, take it as a token and after this one like what we will do after assigning the uh, token to this one we will redirect to the so router dot navigate by url so what i'm going to do i'm go going to copy this line of code and after like once it will be uh, redirect to that page what we will do we can we can uh, do anything like if we want to test the token like it is uh, correct or not so what i can do like uh, we can put the console like that token value for testing purpose we can keep that token value so let's take this token value here so what i'm going to do token and here i can put it in this way so that we can take it here so this is basically like student register here so this value will come and through that we can take this token value so what it is saying as of now like this comma is expected okay so here what we have to do we have to use the plus after doing that one now put semicolon here and after this curly brace here i will store the error if we find any error here and after that what we have to do we we, we have to check if this error dot status so we can keep status if it is equal to equal to 400 then what we can do we can redirect this dot so i will copy this one so this dot 
like so first of all like if we get the error first of all we will throw the error like what is uh, this error so what i can do a alert and inside this one like login my username or password mismatch so that we can uh, write it here if we get any error we can uh, like this 400 error we can uh, put this one else what we can do like here we can uh, like console dot log that particular error whatever we are getting here so this error we can keep it so in this way we can uh, do the submit button now let's go to the home page back so in this home.component.html what we will do we will write the uh, like uh, logic to uh, store the information and before that what I have to do in the TS like in home so we don't want this one so we, uh, in this component.ts what we have to do we have to call that service through that we are getting the student information so for that one we have to take one variable of private and this I am going to take as a service and the type of this will be like user service so this we have to take here and next we have to take a one variable of route so i'm going to take as a router and the type of this will be router and after this one what we have to do in this ng on init i'm going to take this dot service dot get student info and I'm going to subscribe it and inside this subscribe what I'm going to do I'm going to take a one variable of student register and inside this student register what I'm going to do I'm going to take a one local variable here and the type of this local variable anything like like user detail I'm going to take as a user details and now what I am going to do inside this student register using the lambda expression I am going to assign that value so this dot user details and I am going to assign this student info and after that what we can do we can check for the any error if there is any error so we can check that as well and that error I can put inside the console dot log so we can keep it here now after that like what we have to do so after that let's put the comma here and here we have to put the curly braces so that we have to do let's check like why we are uh, getting this error so that is because of this bracket now next what we have to do we have to take a one logout button here so that logout button let's write it so what I'm going to do on, on logout and that function we will define inside the like uh, in the HTML page. So for that one, first of all, what we have to do local storage dot what we have to remove the item. So we have taken that item inside the login page while login. So we have to remove that token first. And after that, what we have to do, we have to navigate to the like this dot router dot navigate by url and where we have to navigate we have to navigate the first of all user and after that user what we have taken we have taken the login page so we have to like redirect to the login page so this we have to make it here so like here we have used as a by url so we have to remove this one because we have to navigate to the proper like under this url as a path we are navigating that's why we have given uh, as a navigate and after this one now next what we have to do we have to go to this home.html page and inside this one we have to design the ui so that uh, ui i have already designed so i will copy and paste here so let's copy and paste here so here what i have done like i am taking all the information and here i am navigating like uh, i have like uh, in the future like what we have to do we have to create one method and through that method we will navigate to that another page so as of now i'll get rid of this one 
and what I'm uh, doing here, I'm getting all the information and I'm printing. So let's uh, compile this application. So ng sir. And after this, like before that, what I will do, I will run this application also like this API should be run. So uh, let's run it by that time. And here I'm compiling the application. So it will take few seconds to do all this operation. So let's wait for uh, some moment. So now uh, after compilation, so currently like we have this method like uh, we, the, the, through the API we are fetching this get student detail but currently like this is a authorized method. So what we have to do, we have to do the authentication for home component dot HTML page. So currently we don't have any authentication and at point of this time if we give the login credential here. So currently like we have the dot that is the username and one, two, three, four, five. And when I will log into this application. So what we are looking here, we are not looking any information and whatever the information we have given, like using the user detail and the information which we are getting through the API, this get student info, we are not uh, looking that information here. And if we will go to the F12, if you will press and here you will see like uh, can't read property of username uh, is undefined and the reason of that one like let's log out from here again like log out is working properly and if I will refresh it again and now let's give the dot and one two three four five and if I will log in this one and I have put the debugger and when I will come like um, when execute this function let's fully execute go to the console and what it is saying here we can see clearly message like this authentication method is a unauthorized me method that's why we are not looking any information here like without any information we are able to log in properly and we are able to see like we are coming to the home page and apart from this one if i will log out from here and in the another tab if i will log into this home page and hit enter we can see like we are navigating to that page but in this situation it should not log into this page it should redirect to this login page because still we didn't log in through that page so this authorization part what we will do we will uh, cover in the next video so in this video what we have done so in this video we have cover so in this video we uh, cover like uh, we have uh, initialized this uh, on init on the home page and from here we have created a one logout button and in this like we are removing the token and then navigating to that page and apart from this one like in the login what we have done on submit we have uh, set the token and we are navigating to the respective url and uh, similar to that one in the user when i go to the uh, let's go to the shared folder and user service we created these two function for login and the get the information in the next video we will uh, see how to authorize our home page using the angular 8 so that's it for this